Hey there folks, welcome to the Microsoft Security, Compliance and Identity Fundamentals course, more commonly known as the Microsoft SC900 course. If you've watched one or more of my other courses on the channel already, welcome back. If this is your first time watching one of my courses, well, welcome to the channel. Now the first thing I'd like to point out to you folks is this video is just the course introduction video which explains the short length. The actual full course video will be the next one after this one. It's also going to be in the same playlist. All right, so let's give you folks an overview of the course. So in case you folks don't know this already, the official SC900 course of Microsoft is actually just a one day course. That normally takes about four to five hours to cover all the content. With that in mind, I'd like to mention that I will do the full course for you guys in just one video. That, however, means that that video will be about four to five hours in length, since the course normally takes about four to five hours to cover. The full official SC900 course consists of four modules. All four of those modules will be covered in this full video course, along with some practical demonstrations in some places, you know, just to help with understanding certain topics. For the folks who need to write the official Microsoft International Certification exam, as a bonus, I'll be making an extra video after the full course video, which will have, you know, a couple of practice questions that you guys can go and use to practice for the exam. Please note, though, that those practice questions are not the actual questions from the exam. Using the actual questions from the official exams are against Microsoft terms and conditions. Um, you're not allowed to go and use those according to Microsoft, so please don't. The practice questions I will be giving you guys are allowed, though, by Microsoft and they will test you on the same things and measure you on the same things as that you would get in the exam. Now, like I said earlier, folks, this is going to be a very long video since it will be covering the full course. With that in mind, there will be a list of topics in the video's description. That list will contain most of the topics covered in the video with some convenient timestamps. This will make it very easy and very quick for you or someone to find exactly what they're looking for if they're looking for a specific topic. So if you'd like to revise on a specific topic or if you're just looking for something specific in general, by all means, use the timestamps in the video description. I've put them there to make your life easier. It took me forever in a day to get those timestamps in place. So yes, please make use of them. They're there to make your life smoother. Now, speaking of the video description, what you folks will also find in that video description is not just a list of all the topics with those timestamps you'll also find two links to Microsoft 365 trials. This is if anyone would like to try some of the stuff in the course out for themselves. You can use any one of those two links. Um, they will both give you trial. The one will give you 25 Enterprise E3 licenses. The other one will give you 25 Enterprise E5 licenses. I will add little descriptions above the link. So if you're not sure which one to go and use, I would suggest using the Enterprise E5 one since those licenses normally have more functionality. You're going to get a lot more joy out of that one. So you can also find trials, you know, by just going to Google or wherever and just running a search for Microsoft 365 trials. The problem with those trials is they don't just ask you for a live ID. They also ask you for a credit card or some sort of bank card. Now, most folks, including myself, are not exactly very comfortable with providing a bank card of some kind. And even if you are, some people don't have bank cards to provide. So that becomes a bit of an issue. If you go and use one of my two links, they will take you to the exact same website, but they will not ask you for a bank card. They will, however, unfortunately, still ask you for a live ID. Now, with regards to the live ID, what I would suggest you guys go and do is just go to www.live.com and make yourself a new fake live ID. You can use a fake name, fake last name, call it whatever you want. You can call it Banana Town if you want to. It really doesn't matter since it's just going to be for the purpose of this course. It's just for you to go and make a trial and test this stuff out yourself. So fake name, fake last name, fake email, fake everything, and you're not going to need a bank card. So this way you don't have to worry about any of your privacy. Um, you'll have complete privacy and all of that. All right, now that we have that out of the way, who is the course audience for this? In other words, who is the course intended for or suitable for? This course is intended for folks who intend on writing the official Microsoft SC900 certification exam. It will contain enough for someone to actually be able to write and pass the exam, in case you're wondering. The course is intended for people who are looking to learn what Microsoft 365 
Office 365 and the cloud is in general, as well as everything there is to learn about them. The course is intended for people trying to troubleshoot a Microsoft 365 related issue. Most likely this issue is going to be something related to security since this course mostly focuses on the security side of Microsoft 365. Speaking of security, the course is also intended for people working in the security departments of their respective companies. Lastly, the course is also intended for people who are looking at going into security in Microsoft 365. So this could be a nice stepping stone. Well, there you have it, folks. A bit of a quick overview of the SC900 course and what you can expect in the following videos. If you'd like to know when I release courses like this one, folks, remember to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, you might miss the course. And with that said, welcome to the Burning Ice Tech channel, folks. And welcome to the SC900 course. Happy learning, folks. If you love me, let me know. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then let me know.